so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make the outfit that you see in the thumbnail so we are going to be doing the outfit transfer glitch which means you're going to be losing all your outfits except for only one so before you start make sure you equip the outfit that you don't want to lose also if you don't have a rebreather or an earpiece make your way to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or earpiece it doesn't matter which one once you're ready to start the glitch come to the clothing store set your spawn location to last location hit your pause button go to online and go to swap character so one more time you will be losing all your outfits except for only one so before you start make sure you put on the outfit that you don't want to lose also if you don't got green joggers don't worry about it these aren't even the green joggers but um, the glitch is going to give you the fake green joggers and you can also do this glitch if you have the real green joggers i'm going to show you um, how to do it um, near the ending of the glitch or where we merge the outfits so once you get inside of here you want to go over to your second character underneath your second character it's either going to say edit or delete if it says delete just go ahead and delete your second character and two new characters will walk in and you should get the edit option once you got the edit option just go ahead and select that and when your second character is going you're going to get this alert right here just go ahead and accept it once you accept this alert and get inside this room if your second character ended up being a male just change it into a female if it ended up being a female just leave it as a female go ahead and save it continue and then make a random name for it also take the picture once you've taken a picture and it's loading um it's gonna go ahead and load you inside of a new session So once you get loaded inside your new session, all you want to do is just hit your pause button, open up your map, and you want to check to see if there are any clothing stores in your session. If you see any clothing stores in your session, just go ahead and make your way over to the nearest one. If you don't see any clothing stores in your session, all you got to do is go to online and find a new session or just switch sessions, and the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session. So one more time, if you don't see any clothing stores, just find a new session and the clothing stores will be inside that new session but if you do see clothing stores in your session just make your way over to the nearest one Alright, so once you get inside the clothing store, first you want to go to the top section, go to denim jackets, and purchase the two-tone denim jacket. So just come in here to the top section, go to denim jackets, and purchase the two-tone denim jacket. So this one right here, just go ahead and buy it. Once you've bought that, you want to back out, go to tank tops, and you're going to buy the skull tank top. I went past it by accident, but just go to tank tops and purchase the skull tank top So 
so this one right here just go ahead and buy it once you got that you want to make your way over to the pants section go to sport pants and buy the spotted muscle pants which should be the first ones so just come to the pants section go to sport pants and buy the spotted muscle pants so these right here once you've got them make your way over to the shoe section go to boots and purchase the ox blood slack boots so just come over here to the shoe section go to the boots and purchase the ox blood slack boots So once you've got the boots on from here you want to go ahead and back out make your way over to the accessories and if your female character has any earrings on make sure you take them off because some female characters do spawn in by default with earrings so if yours has earrings on just go ahead and take them off once you take off the earrings you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the cashier lady and you're gonna save the outfit and when you save it you want to make sure you saved it in the empty slot that's on your main character so the outfit that you didn't want to lose on your main character was in slot 20 you will just save this in a different spot so just save it on the empty slot that's on your main character so once you save the outfit you're gonna go ahead and back out come to the top section go to fitted suit jacket and buy the white bow and blazer so just come over here to the top section, go to fitted suit jacket, and buy this one right here, the white bow and blazer. So once you've got that, you're going to go ahead and back out, open up your interaction menu, go to your inventory, or inventory, whatever you want to call it. Go to body armor, and you want to put on the super heavy body armor. So just go to the um, show armor, and put on the super heavy body armor. Once you've got that, you want to go ahead and come save this outfit right underneath of your previous outfit that you just made so once you saved it just hit be a circle once go to standard outfits and purchase the chica outfit once you got a chica outfit just go ahead and completely back out hit your pause button go to online and you want to go inside a creator once you get loaded inside a creator click on create a race and then you want to click on land race Once you get loaded inside of here, click on race details, go ahead and fill out the title and the description. They don't have to be anything specific, I just put random stuff for it. And then go ahead and take the photo, set the maximum players on 2 and put the root type on point to point. Once you've got that, just hit your pause button, open up your map and you want to warp over to the airport. Once you get to the airport, just hit be your circle, your back button, click on placement, place triggers go ahead and place it down back out of that click on lobby camera go ahead and take it and back out of that and then click on checkpoints now it doesn't matter how many checkpoints you place down as long as you make the race point 62 miles or longer so just go ahead and make the race point 62 miles or longer once you've made it point 62 miles or longer just hit your back button twice so hit be a circle twice and it's going to give you the option to test out the race and you want to go ahead and test it out Once you finish the race, you're going to get this completed alert. Just go ahead and accept it. Once you get loaded in, just hit your pause button, go to online and go to choose character.
once you get loaded inside this room right here you're gonna go over to your setting character and you're going to delete her so make sure you delete the girl with the chica outfit on you don't want to delete your main by accident go over to your setting character that got the chica outfit on and you're going to delete her once you delete your setting character two new characters should walk in from here just hit your back button so hit be a circle and it's going to take you inside of single player Once you get loaded inside of single player, just hit your pause button, go to online, go to play GTA online, and just go inside of a invite only session. So all you're doing in single player is going inside of a invite only session. So once you get loaded inside of single player, the first thing you want to do is come make sure you save your outfit because it's not going to be saved. So wherever you spawn at, first thing you want to do is make sure you save your outfit. And also save it towards the bottom so it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to merge your other outfits. Alright, so from here, if you got the green joggers, then you don't have to buy what I'm about to buy. So if you already got the actual green joggers, don't buy what I'm about to buy. This is for the people that don't have the green joggers so real quick i'm just gonna go ahead and take off my um, cop belt and invisible torso so it doesn't mess up the glitch so you guys don't get something completely different from what i did but all you want to do is go to the um come to the pants section go to cargo pants and buy the moss cargo so once again this is for if you don't have the green joggers and then once you bought the moss cargo pants you want to come to the top section I don't think it matters what top you have on, but you can go ahead and take off your shirt if you want. I don't think that's really going to affect the glitch. And once you got that, you want to come to the um, shoe section, go to the boots, and you want to go ahead and buy the desert tactical boots. So just come to the shoe section, go to the boots, and buy the desert tactical boots. And like I said earlier, if you already had the actual green joggers, all you have to do is just put on your green joggers. But this is for the people that don't got the green joggers on. Once you got that, just hit your pause button, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, go to versus, and you're going to start up Crooked Cops. When you start up Crooked Cops and you get inside the settings, make sure you put the clothing on player owned or the glitch will not work. So once again, when you get inside the settings for Crooked Cops, put the clothing on player owned and go ahead and wait for either a friend to join. You can invite a friend to join or just wait for a random to join. It's up to you. So once you get loaded inside of the job, just go down to owned outfits and hit right on the d-pad twice. So just go down to owned outfits and hit right on the d-pad twice. And also your arms are not going to stay invisible. They're going to come back when you load inside your online session because we didn't put the component on it to make it stay invisible. So once you get loaded inside of Crypt Cops, you should have your outfit on. From here, just go open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go to your accessories, and put on either a rebreather or an earpiece, whichever one you got. And then you want to open up your phone and quit the job from your phone.
once you get loaded inside your online session you want to go ahead and come save your outfit once you save your outfit you can go ahead and delete your component for it since you don't need it anymore so that's going to be it for this video if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to drop a like on it share and subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to turn your post notifications to miss out on future content